Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. Today's video is a result of a couple people actually asking in the last week for some help on a, a dashboard that they're building. And their data was set up such much like this. This is actually call center data. And this is the total call time. And then they've got it broken out by the amount of hold time, ring time, and talk time. And your data may be set up similar. Maybe it's uh, by months across the top. Maybe it's categories of something across the top. But it's the, the idea that this is how it works great in Excel to have these different categories or sections or pieces broken out as separate columns. It doesn't work real great for, with Tableau. It's very limiting. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. Here's the normal data. I call it normal. And we're going to just try and pull uh, a visual together. We're going to come here. The ISC is the, uh, the call center agent number. And so I'm going to pull that there. And then I want to see the number of uh, the talk time. Okay. And that's pretty, everybody's pretty familiar with a chart like that. But I want to see how that compares. I want to add in the ring time and the hold time as well. So if you bring in the ring time and the hold time, not really helpful. I'd like to see what it is as a percent of the total. And you know that you can at least with one of them, you can create a dual axis. Come in here. We're going to just do some formatting. But then two things. One, it's overlaid on top of each other and you can adjust that with sizing of the bars. And then the whole time is all by itself. You run into some problems with that. So what I'm going to show you is we're going to come to another sheet and we're going to use this unpivot data. And I'm going to show you how we do this. Go to the data source and there's a couple columns that we want to be able to compare together. It's the hold time and I'm pressing down the control key, the ring time, and the talk time. And then if you right click, you can, it says pivot. I think of it as unpivot uh, because you're putting it back to way, the way that normal uh, databases are going to be capturing the data. Now, the one thing about this, I'll actually do this here. And so you're going to get the data all the activity types you can see here is a ring a hold time ring time talk time and you can see now instead of coming from sheet one it's coming from a pivot that you've created and you can do like everything else you can rename this we're going to call this activity type I'm not sure if you can tell i've got my old keyboard back it's not quiet rename we're going to just call this time in seconds now there is this doesn't work for everything. It works for Excel, Google Sheets, uh, PDFs, if you've brought that in. There is another way, if you do have like an Access or a SQL Server, there is a way you can create that, uh, do the same function using a custom, or actually using this uh, over here, a, a custom query, custom SQL query, but that's a little bit beyond the scope of what we're doing here. The key is trying to get all of these activities into the same column. Maybe you can work with your DBA to make that happen. And then you've got your seconds. So now let's come to sheet three. We're going to use the unpivoted data. And let's bring ISC again, agents. And we're going to bring in time in seconds. Okay. And now what you can do is because you have the activity type you can drop that under the color and you can get that breakout that you're I was hoping to get before now this is important because this is also what you could do you can change it to a pie chart any of these different um, they had a tree map where is it where one of these here tree maps as well anything where you want to see the time as a part of the total you need to use the unpivot I've also seen it called um, from columns to rows, and I'll put that in the, the description as well. If you were looking to see percent of the total in sheet one, it's a little bit easier, right? If you're gonna just say hold time divided by duration, and that duration is the total call time, all right? So that's, 
that's easy enough. If you wanted to do that same thing, unpivoted data, it's a little more involved. Uh, that's one option, or the other option, click OK, depending on what you were trying to do with it, you could just have time in seconds divided by duration in seconds. And then, then you could just bring the activity type and you could just filter it that way. So there is, I'm a big proponent of unpivoting the data, getting all those breakouts into the same column so that you can make charts a lot easier uh, and work with the data better. Hope you found this is useful. Let me know if you've got uh, some other opinions on that. Thanks for watching and a big shout out to our latest Patreon subscriber, Don Border. Thanks for joining the family, Don. Check out these other videos to learn even more about Tableau.